Hi everybody, this is Kill of course, I am Mike and today I want to give you a little bit of an update on my Fiat 130 Coupe. I mean, you haven't heard anything about the car for uh, the last uh, half year. I bought the car one year ago and um, it was fitted with a modern uh, radio that I didn't like at all. So that's an Alpine from the 90s, doesn't fit to this uh, Fiat from the 70s. So during the winter time, I was searching in the internet and I found a shop uh, in Munich. They have really an unbelievable amount of um, classic radios. Um, so the owner, he's called uh, Janko Misevic. I'm not sure if that's the correct pronunciation. Um, he has about 8,000 old radios and um, he restores them. And you can also opt for some uh, modern things like for example and uh, that you can play mp3 with that and um, he sells it with a full two-year warranty and they have a Fiat 130 coupe. 130 coupe. probably some purists will say oh this uh, fiat was um, only fitted with the um, autovox melody radios i mean that's true if you bought it in uh, italy but uh, someone who bought this car in Germany in the 1970s would probably um, fit a Blaupunkt unit. So I opted for the Blaupunkt, um, which is a little bit um, easier to uh, maintain and to restore, I think. Um, so um, I bought a Blaupunkt Lübeck with um, cassette player and um, it's also fitted with an... Um, Cable to plug in your MP3. Das finde ich jetzt eigentlich, das würde mir jetzt am besten noch gefallen. Das ist die neue. Genau. Weil da ist das. Ich muss sauber machen, weil genau. so war nie Mutter drauf. Ja. Das ist das Original Blende für diese Radio. Mhm. Von wann bis wann ist das schon? Das ist von Okay. Also passt auf jeden Fall zum 72er Auto äh, genau dazu. I paid 450 Euros. I mean, that's quite a lot of money for an old uh, simple radio. But um, I didn't want to buy uh, something in the internet that uh, then uh, after installation doesn't work. So uh, usually these cassette uh, units, they uh, give up if you do not use it regularly. So all of that is uh, completely refurbished. Everything works perfectly. The problem with the 130 coupe radios is that it needs a very wide face plate of 21 centimeters. The usual ones are just 19 centimeters. So you um, if you do not find uh, the correct original um, faceplate, which has the white uh, cross, um, which I do not absolutely like so much. So um, I wanted to have uh, this uh, chrome frame of the uh, Blaupunkt radio. So I had to custom make something um, to fit in. And um, my decision was to... Uh, cut a frame out of balsa wood then i spray painted that in matte black color so now it uh, i think will uh, perfectly uh, blend into the original 130 coupe dashboard but i will show you all of that now in detail okay let's see how we can remove that old one is out that was the easy part so this is the new Blaupunkt Lübeck cassette player unit okay so what kind of wires do we have though so that's obviously the antenna that's the earth that's the power supply and that are the four cables for the two speaker so we will start with the earth cable Das habe ich kaputt gemacht. Wahrscheinlich ist jetzt die Sicherung rausgeflogen. Ja, die sind schon alle okay. Okay, I think the cables are connected correctly. Now just the most complicated one is missing. That's the one for the MP3 player. Because that one I have to get somehow behind the dashboard into the glove box.
it's in. I think the radio sits very strong. A little bit of uh, styrofoam on the bottom and my small self-made mounting plate which will be fixed with this screw of the clock. So nothing moves and now we will see if this self-made frame made from balsa wood fits. And I think it fits really very well. It's in. I think it perfectly blends into the dashboard. It looks very good now. And now is the big moment to try and see if it works. Das Stadtpolizeikommando Linz, das Landeskriminalamt, die Staatsanwaltschaft Linz und tschechische Polizeibehörden. It works. Die Landesalarm- wow. und Warnzentrale okay. wird um 9,1 Millionen Euro saniert. Das hat der zuständige Landesrat Daniel Fellner bekannt. About radios and um, I'm really proud proud of myself now wow the radio works now we will try the old cassette probably anyone younger than 30 years doesn't even know what it is but that was the standard way to play music in the 70s and 80s so activate the radio push in the cassette and It works and it pops out when I close it perfectly. So I don't want to play more with the cassette because probably I get a problem with the copyright. So we try the MP3 now. MP3 cable is here in the glove box. I connected with my pad. Then the interesting thing is you can switch with that one here in the back side with that switch to MP3. I activate MP3 and I open the radio. It works. So everything works, the radio, the cassette player and MP3. Wow, very, very happy. Not only with the optics, it looks absolutely perfectly 70s now, but also with the function, everything works. Great. Okay, so installing the radio is finished. It works perfectly. I think it looks very, very good. And um, apart from yeah, designing uh, the frame that it could fit in, everything else was not so complicated. So I think I needed about uh, two or three hours to fix everything. But now I think I couldn't expect more. I am absolutely happy with it. Maybe I can use the chance now to uh, give you a few more updates on the Fiat. And uh, one thing is in the review half a year ago, I complained a little bit that it is a bit difficult uh, to start and I needed three attempts to start. Um, I got a very, very good uh, advice from a viewer called Angelo and he suggested that I should just um, turn the ignition key, then wait until I hear the uh, fuel pump, wait 20 seconds, that's the important part, and then uh, prime the carbs with uh, three or four uh, steps on the accelerator pedal and then start. And um, you won't believe it, but 
it works perfectly. And I even don't have to use this uh, three steps on the on the accelerator so in fact just waiting these 20 seconds before starting with the ignition key turned is already enough that it now starts on the first attempt and really after one or two seconds so this problem is solved um i have another new small problem that is the uh, clock, as I in fact it uh, existed already, but I didn't really uh, pay attention too much to it. Um, the car has, a, what is, this car has a Veglia electronic clock in the car and um, it sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't work. So if you then adjust time again, it works for a few hours or maybe even for a day and then it stops again. So. Not sure, maybe one of you have an idea um, how to repair that or at least who could repair that um, because, I mean, it's not a big problem, but if it can be solved, it would be nice. Then last but not least, I forgot one uh, really funny detail in my review of the car. I mean, this here is the knob where you can adjust the temperature of the air condition. And if you look closely, you can easily see there is a red section and there is a blue section and you can turn it from blue to red and the other way around. And if you switch it off, it's here in the top. So where do you think you have to turn the knob if you want to make the air condition cooler? I think everyone would expect you turn it to the blue section. But that's totally wrong. Here in this car, and I mean that's not a fault or something that uh, uh, someone uh, made wrong when restoring or repairing the air condition. No, I checked it in the manual. If you want to make it colder, you turn the knob to red. And if it's here at the top, it's the coldest setting of the air condition. I mean, isn't that absolutely weird that uh, you have to Put the, you, that you have to turn the air condition knob to the red section to get the coldest air. So very, very quirky Italian feature. Then two funny details. When I uh, tried to fit this uh, cable from the MP3 player in my glove box, I suddenly discovered in one corner, which um, Sorry, I didn't see that before. I discovered the original set of keys and that's really the original one, not the ones that I showed you in the review. They were just um, spare ones that probably someone uh, had made later. But these are the original keys for the ignition, the black one, and uh, the other two are for the doors and for the boot. So perfect, now I have the original set of keys. Then I also discovered one more thing um, that's maybe funny and should have been in the review. I mean, the car has the uh, electric windows, but in case that these electric windows fail, there is also this kind of uh, hand. Oh, shit. What is this? You can remove this part here of the door panel. And then you can stick in this kind of um, hand crank and wind up the windows if the electric fails. That were the updates about the Fiat 130 Coupe and my experiences with the radio swap. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a like. And um, I have plans with some more videos, especially the costs of ownership not only of this Fiat 130 Coupe, but also of my Ford Transit camper van and the Lotus Esprit. So if you don't want to miss these videos, maybe think of subscribing to my channel and see you next time. Bye bye.